What's up guys? Um, we're at the Borgata. I wasn't actually gonna uh, do a vlog today, but um, I figured I'll just kind of give a quick recap of what happened. We uh, we played a um, a satellite. It was it was a, a sixty five no seventy dollar set. Oof. It was an eighty dollar satellite into um, a six hundred dollar tournament tomorrow. Normally I wouldn't play a satellite like this. It's such a it's kind of a small it's such a small buy in that. But um it's nice to be, you know, in for uh only eighty for a six hundred hour tournament, so and I had nothing else to do. I came a night early. Um it starts tomorrow, uh the six hundred hour tournament. And I always like to kinda of come the night a night before, kinda, of, you know, get settled in and uh get a good night's sleep and not have to get up like super early and drive down the day of the tournament so it's like three hour ride for me um so i would have had to get up at like you know seven in the morning <laughs> i'm not really a morning person so i came down tonight today well this afternoon staying at the borgata and um yeah we shipped a seat it was a 80 hour tournament um one in ten get a seat so they gave away uh 17 seats and then 18th got cash everyone ended up giving 20 dollars cash extra so the 18th player ended up getting the 600 anyway. I think they actually got a little more the way it worked out, but whatever. It cost, cost $100 to get into a $600 tournament, so you can't beat that. Um, yeah, like right off the bat, you only started with 15,000 chips, and the levels were 15 minutes long. So it was a super, it was a super turbo. Um, I lost the second hand off the deck. I have ace-king, lost that hand. Uh, ace-4-4 four, four flop. The guy call, limps under the gun and calls a raise with 3-4 suited flop strips. Uh, old guy check raised me on the turn I should have just folded Stu stupid me calls and uh gave him way too many more chips than I should have so I was down to like 9k pretty quick from the 15 and then I just went on like a super heater like I, I think I won every all in that I was involved in I mean I was ahead every time but <laughs> the two biggest were with queens against ace king and then queens against sevens the queens against sevens hand was later in the tournament and um I probably had 140, 150 to start the hand, and the guy, the other guy had like 80. No, I think I had 120, and he had 80 at the time. Um, or maybe more. He might have had 90. So it was pivotal. The queens against sevens, the queens hold. And then I was pretty much in a spot where I could cruise. Um, then we're down to two tables at that point. And then I could pretty much just fold into a seat. Um, wait for the short stacks to get knocked out and that's what happened some people were playing just like there's this one lady nice lady kind of <laughs> but she was just like she had like a huge stack and she's playing like almost every hand and i'm like limping with like 10 six off suit and i'm like oh boy what is, she has no idea about satellite strategy but um yeah so eventually you get to the point where you could just pretty much fold and wait for the short stacks to get knocked out and they did thankfully um yeah and we got the seat so it's pretty nice start to the trip um, probably do regular updates tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow's tournament is 50,000 starting stack, um, 30 minute levels. So, um, could gamble, probably, probably will gamble a bit on the first, uh, bullet just to, uh, try to build a stack and then rebuy if we have to. I don't think, I don't think I'd do more than two bullets, but we'll see. Um. So, uh, yeah, so it's a good structure. And then there's also, like, a uh, main event. They, I think it's called the, the main event. It's like a twenty three or 2500 buy-in. They have a 300-hour satellite for that tomorrow night. So that's, like, the plan B if the, um, the tournament doesn't go well. Um, yeah, but hopefully we can run up a stack. It's a, it's a 100K guarantee tournament and uh, just one starting flight. So tomorrow, Tuesday is day one, and then day two is the tournament ends on Wednesday. So... Yeah, hopefully we can do well. Um, we'll update you tomorrow on our first break. Uh, tournament just about to start in maybe about 20 minutes. Checked out of the room. Hopefully you get something to eat quick. Um, 20, 25 minutes, I think, we're starting. So going to get in there. Um, again, it's 50K starting stack and 30-minute uh, levels. So you start with 500 bigs. So 
going to probably play pretty high, uh, not high variance, but pretty aggressive at the beginning and hopefully build up a stack. Um, we play, I think we play 20 levels, so the blinds going into day two are going to be 8, 16,000. So the goal, goal would probably be like at least six or 700K going into day two. That would be a good goal. You know, 500K, it's like 30 bigs, so hopefully more than that. Um, I always find myself like around 10 to 20 bigs going into day twos, and, you know, it's probably because I... I don't take the higher variant spots where I probably should. Um, especially being I satellited in, you know, probably could gamble a bit on the first bullet. Um, like I said, hopefully just two bullets, tops. Um, willing to fire three, but it's only a 100k guarantee. So if it was a bigger guarantee, I'd probably fire more. But I think two is just enough. Um, all right, so we're going to get in there, update you on the first break. Uh, breaks for every, I think, two hours, every four levels. Just a very quick update, because we have to get back. Uh, it's 15-minute breaks, and um, a hand went into the break and then had to stop and talk to people. So probably only have a few minutes left. Um, very quick, I have like 66K from the 50K starting. The table was pretty soft at first, and some good players filled in. Made quads, first level. Didn't make much. The guy only had ace-king. I made quad deuces. Um... Then uh, one big hand towards the end came up where I uh, had ace-king with the ace of spades. I have three bet this guy a couple times, like competent young player. Um, flop comes down, nine, five, deuce, two spades. Checks to me, I bet 1,700. I think the blinds were 500 or 2-4 uh, at this point. Yeah, there'll be 3-5 coming back. I've made 1,000 pre, he... Or no, he, he made it 800 pre. I re-raised to 25. Flop, I bet 17. He check raises me to 5K. I call. Turns another spade, low spade. He checks to me now. I bet 9,000. He just calls. And River completes the flush. I bet 25K. He folds. He said he had a set. So I guess like set of fives or set of twos. So if the spade doesn't come, I don't know if I bluff it off or not. I feel like I was feeling like he had a set. I might have had to give up on the River. Um, it was close. I had an ace or king i hit an ace or king i probably check back with showdown but um yeah he's been pretty tight so far so i was a little worried there probably ambitious to chase there but um against a player like that but uh, yeah all right we're gonna get back in there uh, just a quick update i have 62,500 coming back to 612 nothing really too eventful that level um tougher table now will fail is at my table and a couple other good players Really haven't picked up much though. All right, we'll update you on the next break. Right, we have 107k on dinner break. Uh, blinds are going to be 1,500, 3,000 coming back. Uh, what a nice all-in with pocket queens. I raise under the gun at 8, 1,600, make a 35. Spewy guy in the big blind who's been making like huge re-raises makes it 22k. And then I shove for about 55. He, Thinks for a bit and calls with ace eight off suit. We hold because there's like three nines on the board. Um, and I got bluffed in this hand, which I'll go over here. Um, I have queen ten clubs in the small blind. Call raise from the cutoff. A guy who was pretty new to the table, but looked like a pretty good active player. Seven five three flop checks around. Big blind was also in. Um, I could. Uh, Turns a queen. I checked it, the button. He bets 10k. It's a pretty big bet. Uh, I call. Um, and River was a 10 of spades. But it made me two pair, but it brought a flush in. I checked to him, and he just rips it for 65. It looks so bluffy. He like snapshot. Um, he he snapped. Pretty much snapshot. I mean, he had a couple thousand behind. Him. But I just haven't covered it. Thought about it for a while. I just didn't think that he would, uh, I don't know. It did feel kind of bluffy. Like, he, some guy next to me commented that if he had a flush draw, he would have bet the flop. And I'm like, he could have other hands, like sets. Four or six would have been a straight. So there were hands that, he, so he ended up having, I fold and he had jack four offsuit with the jack of spades. I don't hate the fold. I don't have a spade in my hand to block the flush either, so. I think a, a 
against a player I know nothing about it. Making the two pair, I feel like, is almost irrelevant. Like, if I just had a queen, it's pretty much the same situation. Because you wouldn't do that with, like, ace, queen, uh, or kings, or anything like that, which I'd be... Um, I just never has a hand like that. So, hopefully we can run it off. Not the easiest table. Wouldn't mind a uh, table break sooner than later. But, uh, yeah. Coming back, we have... 35 bigs or so, a little more. So, if we run it up, let you run it up. If we bust, the plan B is to play a satellite for the main, main event. It's a three and a half satellite at seven. All right, I'll we'll update you later. Another bright spot is we're only in for one bullet and we can satellite it in, so that's a win for me. <laughs> so we're in for a hundred hours for this tournament. Can't beat that. On the next break, we have 113,000 coming back to 4.8. Got a big double with a pocket jack. So under the gun raises, I jam at three six blinds. I was really short. I only had like 50, 45, 50k. Big blind rejams. He has ace king. Uh, under the gun fold the tens and the jacks held. Before that, I got in king queen against ace queen, fought the king. So we're surviving. But uh, we want to be able to get a stack where we can uh, maneuver a little bit. So hopefully, we get a double here. New table, man. Unfortunately, we're out. Um, so we came back with like 113k, I think. Um, one hand, I pick up queens in the cutoff. I think I had 12 bigs or so at this point. Um, and I just jammed. And I think, I think you want action here, and you want other people to have a chance to rejam and stuff like that. So I think it's a mistake to jam here. Um, everyone folded. Uh, the button said he had king jack, where he's, whereas he probably plays if I just uh, min click it. But um, it's kind of unfortunate. But uh, so yeah, I looked at the charts and it said it's always a min raise, like the top of your range there. Aces, kings, queens, even jacks, I think, is a min raise. Um, yeah, jacks might be a shot if it's close. But um, then I pick up ace eight offsuit in a small blind. At this point, I think I have 11 bigs or so. Um, I rip, and the button snaps. He has king, jack of hearts, flops a king, GG's. Um, not much I could do. You know, there's a couple spots here and there which I would take back. He made a couple tight folds, maybe, that were wrong. The queen 10 uh, hand in particular, I think, that, that catapults me if I make that call, and I, I'm cl close to 200K if I make that call. Not 200k, but I'm up there. Um, thought I played fine overall. A little tired, obviously. Didn't sleep that great last night. It's a usual case for me. Like in a casino the first night. Um, got like maybe five hours sleep, probably less. Um, so definitely not locked in, unfortunately. Uh, one of these days I'll, I'll be 100% <laughs> for a tournament. But uh, just didn't feel 100 today. Um, I was kind of at the mercy of the deck up for a lot, long periods, but um, caught some hands when I needed to, but, you know, the last all-in couldn't hold. Um, yeah, so we're just going to keep plugging away. Um, we're staying the night now at Harris, probably going to play some cash, and then uh, going to go to Philly Live tomorrow. They have a million guarantee, um, 600 buy-in. <laughs> Tomorrow starts, I think, 11 a.m. Tomorrow, 11 tomorrow. So we'll go there tomorrow, fire that. I think it's just a morning flight, so if we probably fire two bullets maybe, and then if that doesn't go well, that just head home from there. Day two is not till Sunday, so hopefully we can get a bag and go back Sunday. But um, this will be the end of this vlog, and uh, next vlog will obviously be the Philly Live one. But... Um, yeah, just frustrating. I thought I played well. Kind of didn't get the best table draw. Um, I seem to draw tough tables where it's tough to accumulate chips that people just don't give their chips away easily. Or I just, I mean, the one spot, a couple spots where, I don't know, I made one bad fold with ace queen, or I think, I don't know, it was a weird hand. I don't think I talked about it, but it was queen six, queen six blank flop, queen six three, something like that turn brings a six which brings two hearts um this guy raised early position i called 
with ace queen suited this was like right after i had doubled where it's probably more of a three bet but um i just decided to call on this spot but um yeah queen six three flop something like that he bets 10k i call turn he checks to me when the six pairs and then um i bet 15k the check raises me to 45 which is just like worst the only bluff he has is ace king of hearts um and he told me when the table broke that he had a small pair i was like if he actually knew the hand he had he would have said the actual hand like he would have said he had whatever deuces or whatever but um i don't know it felt like kings he raised early position. I you know I block aces, I ace queen. It could have been the same hand, so it probably was a bad fold. But uh, I mean, I feel like I'm running into kings there a lot. Maybe a six, probably not a six. But he raised early position. Seemed he pretty, was pretty solid. But who knows? Um, yeah, uh, it's frustrating. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.